uh, this conversation took place when? Late this 80s? This was uh, in the late 80s, yes, in New York. When demonstrations started, like... Uh, yeah, 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 and Tom all. was very much involved with that. Mm -hmm. And then, unfortunately, he, he died. Tom died. Tom died, and uh, so I, you know, I didn't really have a, a, um, a good relationship with Kosovars. I didn't have any relationship with them. Mm -hmm. So that interest in that sort of died down for the time being. Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, you started working lobbying for, for Albanians. First, it was the relief fund, right? Well, actually, at first we started, uh, again, another, <laughs> another television. There was a program in, in the U.S. after Albania opened up from communism called The Land the Time Forgot. It was by ba Barbara Walters, who's a famous uh, TV journalist yes. in, in the United States. And I saw what was happening in Albania after the communism, and it was very depressing. The conditions were so bad. So I got together with another Albanian in the real estate industry, as a matter of fact, because my business then was mostly real estate. Wall Street. No, well, yeah. then it was Wall, real estate, now it's, now it's Wall Street. Yeah. And I still do some real estate. Yep. But he was involved in similar businesses as, as, as me. It turned out our families knew each other. And we both said, let's try to do something. We opened up this uh, humanitarian aid organization mm -hmm. to send aid to Albania. We sent over $10 million in aid. We had an office in the Pyramid Building in Tirana. But through this, I started meeting more Albanians. I started taking trips to Washington. And you know, one thing led to another, and we moved on and started another organization down the road. Yeah, and the other organization one was National American Albanian Council. National yeah. Albanian American Council. Um, we got together leaders from the Albanian-American community. We had people like uh, Anthony Athanas, uh, Ekrem Barda, Bruno Salimai, um, Harry Baraktari, Sami Rapishti, you know, people that were known within the community and, and many people that were very much interested in doing something for Kosovo. So I was responsible for raising the money in the beginning. I was responsible for opening the office and to, to my knowledge, it's the first physical lobbying office that Albanians ever had in the United States. Mm -hmm. And it became a focal point for lobbying for Kosovo through the 90s and up into the war. And you were in charge of finance. I was the treasurer. Yep. We, we got, I think we got the original documents that you uh, sent to us for the first uh, documents of NAC, and probably we're gonna see them uh, later on. So. How it went, so what did you do first with NAC? First thing was organizational. Pulling the people together, setting up the meetings, telling how much money you're going to give. The first meeting we had, we had Anthony Athanas on the telephone and, and he's always been a big supporter of Albanian causes. Again, not he from- was, He was based in Boston. He was based in Boston. He was famous restaur you know, restaurant operator. Year, he had the biggest four. restaurant in the United States. Year four. And, uh, but he was always a patriotic, he was a patriotic Albanian. 